Now, a report reveals 700 Australian parents have received arrest warrants over unpaid public school tuition fees. South Australia's Education Department says the warrants were issued to parents who failed to appear in court. Around 2,000 families were prosecuted last financial year as part of a crackdown on debt. State government debt collectors are recovering $1.2 million from indebted parents. An official says the money is mostly owed by middle-class parents rather than low-income families. The average tuition fee for primary school is about $250, and it is almost $400 for a secondary school student. Joining us now via Skype from uh, Sydney is our correspondent, Hamid Farajullahi, to tell us a bit more. Now, Hamid, these are figures... Uh, show an underlying problem. It's not just uh, an inability to pay the fee, but it's the underlying economic and financial strain being placed on middle and low income families. Tell us a bit more. Well, Kenes, uh, what I can tell you ever since uh, uh, the Liberals came into power in uh, September, um, it w there were always calls to cut the budgets to schools. Now, what has happened uh, throughout this financial year is that the schools um, have been, the burden has been put on the school's shoulder to actually uh, supply uh, or, or raise their funds in order to run their schools. So the amount of money being funded by the government to schools have dropped uh, drastically. And as a result, the schools have gone after um, parents who haven't paid. Uh, in, in terms of uh, job cuts and, and uh, parents uh, not being able to provide these funds as a result of not having the funds available, I can tell you um, today 5,000 jobs have been lost in Australia just, uh, chose to slash those jobs uh, because of uh, loss of profit. Now, it, it's been an ongoing trend, but what needs to be cited, it's, it's not the, the, the 400 the 200 or whether it's $500 fee is for, uh, for, for actually the kids' uh, um, basic needs in school, whether it's uh, IT, uh, stationery, textbooks and so on. So at the beginning of the year, the parents are provided with a list. Um, the parents go out, provide these basic needs uh, for their kids. Um, again, the school says we're going to be providing more textbooks and as a result you have to pay these fees. Now the parents are arguing why should we, you know, double pay, uh, why should we be paying more of these fees because we already provided the necessary uh, goods and stationery for our kids. So there's an argument over there. Some parents refuse to pay it. On the other hand, some parents are unable to pay it. Uh, because uh, they, they obviously don't have the funds uh, available to them now. I remember when I went to school, um, in, in public schools, we never had to pay uh, any fees to enter schools. So it's, it's becoming an increasingly concerning uh, trend in Australia. And uh, unfortunately, the state government is uh, cracking down on these uh, parents to pay their fees. So Can basically, you? Hamid, uh, looking at the larger picture over here, uh, as the government continues to grapple with a, a financial and economic downturn, it is the ordinary Australians who are seeing their safety nets being uh, thrown away by the government. Yes, absolutely. And also uh, mismanagement. Um, We've had laws come into effect that would see our prison population increase drastically. And it's estimated that $300 million uh, would be put into prisons every year, just as, as these new laws would come into effect. So the government um, cutting funds for, for, uh, from nursing, for, from hospitals, from, from education, just putting unnecessary needs, and unnecessary needs according to... Um, re regular Australians, ordinary Australians that I speak to. So it's, it's a, also a matter of mismanagement uh, in, in the administration that what we're seeing, especially after the election in September. Kenneth? Okay, Press TV's Hamid Farajullahi, they're reporting from Sydney via Skype. Hamid, thanks very much indeed for updating us.